All right, we've crossed the border into Moro Saint Denis from Gevray Chambertin. Again, fairly close to the border. So that way we've got Gevray Chambertin, Clos de la Roche, which we talked about before, where that little lull is, Gevray Chambertin Orkenbot, and then right here we're in Moro Saint Denis Premier Cru Orchan. Now, Orcham is a continuation of Mazoua Chambertin Grand Cru and also Sham Chambertin Grand Cru. Now, Mazoua Chambertin Grand Cru can also be called Sham Chambertin Grand Cru. So, it, it in essence goes Sham Chambertin, Sham Chambertin, Maurice Saint Denis, Sham. So, Sham usually produces wines that are charming. Uh, beautiful, delicate. Before we, before we go into a generalisation, let's talk about this vineyard. So, Domaine Pierre Amio, uh, just, just over there. So we're in a bit of a lull here. We can see where some rocks have been ripped up. Probably about 10 vines across, and then we come into uh, Pierre Amio. It's a really good aspect before it sort of drops away. Uh, still relatively high compared to regional, but we're definitely on a more sort of subtle slope. Now, the Charm uh, Premier Cru wines from Pierre Amio are absolutely beautiful. Now, during cooler years, they display this beautiful minerality. Then during warmer years, uh, that minerality turns to sort of supple fruitiness quite quickly. So really about finding that sort of equilibrium. So on, a, on a, just a perfect vintage, it'll display minerality. On a cool vintage, it'll show quite a bit of minerality. And then a warmer vintage, they're just very pleasant and charming. So it's just a really nice combination. Now, it's getting quite cold, so let's get on to the next Premier Crew.